my, my reaction times just aren't that fast. I think, I mean, you definitely, in these racing games, I know from experience, you have to, to get good at a racing game, you have to really learn uh, the tracks quite a bit. Oh, I, what happened? What? I blew up. I didn't even know that was possible. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play 1001 Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jane. Today we are checking out Wipeout 2097. This is a classic game from the Sony PlayStation 1 era. Uh, the Sony PlayStation 1 was really a game that came in and uh, cornered the market. Um... <laughs> I like the little Red Bull, Red Bull promo there. So Red Bull was a uh, advertiser, uh, uh, you know, in this game. They had paid promotional materials in this game, and this was before games really did that all that much. I mean, I guess you could argue even back in the day of Tapper, um, you know, advertisers were paying to get their their brands into games, but it wasn't. You know, ads and games have become much more common these days, and TV shows and movies, it's all over the place. Um, but here it is, Wipeout, uh, sponsored by Red Bull. So here we have it, some uh, jets or, or hover cars or whatever racing around, firing missiles at each other. They're sort of like F1 racers of the future. Um, and actually, it looks kind of dark and depressing. Like, they're racing in the middle of the night, there's no audience, there's seemingly no one living a happy life in Wipeout 2097, so I don't know. Uh, but this is a terrific game. I have so many fond memories of playing this as a kid. So here we go. Let's hop into this baby and see what there is. You know, I find with all these old PlayStation games that I totally don't remember much about the menu screens at all. Uh, let's go into options. Let's see what we got. Audio config, controller config, password. Hmm. It's under preferences. Oh, well, we got to have weapons on. Um, I'll be saying some more about weapons. Default view, exterior, move screen. I don't know what that is. Uh, we can try and enter our name, I suppose. Confirm letter entry. Uh, confirm letter entry. Confirm letter entry. Okay. Now, how do I, how do I accept that? How do I, uh-oh, uh, -oh. uh did it take it? Damn it. Well, whatever. We'll have to we'll have to enter our name manually the old-fashioned way. There's no automatic voice uh, or name entry. Okay, in arcade mode. What other modes are there? Time. Ooh, one-on-one. -on -one. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, let, let's just hop into this. Oh, wait. Team? Team? Oh, yeah, there's other teams. Well, other cars, really. Excellent turning, beginner, amateur, expert. Well, we don't want that. Intermediate, amateur, nah, nah, nah. We're just gonna go with uh, the old, the old beginner uh, wipeout car. Okay, let's let's hop into this. Um, we got this awesome loading screen, also sponsored by Red Bull. Uh, it gives you wings. That's their slogan, right? I never really drank Red Bull or anything. Oh crap! One. Go. You know, the first time that uh, that you play a racing game, when it goes three, two, one, the first time you play almost any racing game, there's always that uh, moment of, yep, I'm just going to stall at the, at, the, at the start because I have no idea where I'm going or how to go. Rear lock. Uh-oh. See, I don't know. Ooh, I electrocuted that guy. So this is like Mario Kart of the future. Rockets? Look at that fun stuff. Oh, and I'm all over the course. Doing better than I did in uh, uh, Daytona USA, though. What do I have? Use it. Oh, I didn't, <laughs> wasn't even close. Oh, I got some kind of boost. Mines. Um, hey, wait. This is supposed to have music. There's supposed to be totally awesome music. I was totally looking forward to the music. Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to try and fix this in a second. Let's finish up this race. Let's chat a little bit while we finish off this race here. 
So this game is actually a sequel. Um, I think the original game was on PlayStation Portable PSP. Um, so this, <laughs> when I was reading about this game, I never knew it was a sequel. This is the first Wipeout I had ever played. And it's kind of like um, that Super Speedball 2 Brutal Deluxe that we played a while back. Where like it was, uh, you know, a sequel to a game that uh, had pretty much the same premise. So the original game for this, um, it, it was, you know, anti-gravity racing had been invented and now everyone was racing and being all excited by it. And the sequel they're playing now takes place 40 years later when the sport has really matured. So same idea with, you know, Brutal Deluxe 2. Um, ooh, we actually, we got fourth. We did way better than we did in Daytona USA, uh, I must say. Okay. Um, hold on. We're going to go and I'm going to fix this audio thing. Hold on. Boom, we're back. Okay, we have totally fixed the audio issue. Uh, now we're going to have some sweet tunes. Oh, yeah, listen to that. Improvement already. And guess what? I also figured out uh, this little confusing aspect here. Let's enter a default name. I got these, these two oops, oops. Uh, preferences. Default name. I got these jazzy tunes. Uh, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold on. Thought I had it figured out. Okay. Uh, that. That. And, whoops. Uh, there we go. Uh, accept. Yes, now let's check it out. Yes, we have a default name. We are kings. Alright, let's. Let's rock this thing, dudes. Okay, we're gonna do redo that first. Ooh, location Canada, Talon's Reach. Hey, racing in uh, racing in my own backyard here. That's cool. Oh yeah, this just adds way more to it. Um, I gotta say this is a pretty accurate rendition of Canada, actually. For anyone who's uh, never been, um, this is pretty spot on, actually. Um, we don't have a lot of parks or green spaces. It's mostly, these days it's mostly dystopian um, in, industria kind of uh, feels, you know? Oh yeah, and I'm rocking it. Out of my way, don't. Whoa! Whoa! I, you know what I gotta, you know what I gotta learn to do is break. Air breaking is a thing in this game. Here you die. Concentrating here. Whoa! Just ricochet off that dude. Man, I'm I'm actually okay. So I've I've resecured my spot as fourth. Can I do any better? Is the question. Oh! I think somebody hit a mine or something that I dropped. Oh come on! I'm electrocuting this guy. I'm in second! Holy crap! I wonder if I can get first. Yeah! Okay. I wonder if it's like Mario Kart where when you're first it doesn't give you the good, uh, the good stuff. Oh yeah, autopilot. There, so there's a power up where basically the computer races for you and I won! Yes, number one. That's the way to do it, guys. Um, so I loved weapons and power ups in these games as a kid. Oh, yeah, of course it's Jay. Number one race record, lap record. Um, that's about right. Oh, wait. No. Okay. Go to the menu. Um. Is that like the only track you can race? Oh, I see. Wait, we only have three? I don't remember. Hold on. Arcade, time trial, arcade. What? There, there's only three laps? No way. Oh, okay, within this. Okay, all right, we get to see where we want it. So Canadian Industrial Complex. Hmm. Snowy Tibetan Mountain Circuit. What? There's only two? There's so few tracks. I do. I remember this being way more. 
Uh, way more sophisticated. All right, well, now we're going to Nepal. Anyway, I loved the uh, weapons and racing games as a kid. It was the only way I could ever legitimately um, have fun in a racing game. Because here's the thing. With racing games, racing is kind of actually a solo sport. Um, I know that you're doing it with other people, like on the... Oh, God, I'm all over the place. I'm not getting first on this one. Um, autopilot, engage. Oh, don't disengage me there, buddy. I have a shield. Hello. Hey, stay away from my shield. Um, so I know that technically there's other racers, you know, driving around here. So racing is not truly a solo sport. But it's solo in this. Um, imagine that you and I are racing, and I am just way better than you. And I get an early lead, and I'm off there just doing my thing. There's no way for you to affect my performance and actually catch up with me. You basically just have to do the best you can and not, you know, race perfectly. So you're kind of doing... Oh, I just took every single one of those mines, you jerk. Um, didn't really seem to do much. Didn't do much at all, in fact. I just passed them. Um, so the only thing I can do to catch up to you is, you know, try and... Uh, and, and play my best, my personal best, and then I'm just counting on you to mess up. So if you if you are really good at just focusing on your own stuff, um, you never have to necessarily worry too much about other drivers. Again, I know it's not 100% true. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I view racing as, well, it's, it's kind of solo. Um, not like, you know, like, okay, we played Super Tennis. That one, my actions directly affected the other players. Every time I hit the ball over the net, I was forcing them to react. In racing, that doesn't exist. Woo, second! I will take that. Because uh, I wasn't really paying attention to how many tracks we had or anything. Okay. Why would you just want to replay the game? Why isn't there like a next track feature? That would seem to be an obvious thing they missed. All right, we've done the two uh, easy courses. Well, let's just work our way up. Now we're in a South American jungle circuit. Ranking tricky. Um, so when there's weapons and power-ups in racing games, then I feel like you can actually affect the other players. And then, I mean, personally, then I feel like I have more of a chance. So even if I'm playing against a good racer, if I can get rockets and stuff, and, you know, just harass him with those, he ain't going nowhere, you know? So, um, I feel like weapons and power-ups are essential to making a racing game more competitive in my view. Um, but, you know, it, it's a different type of competitive when nothing like that exists. And it's not that it's good or bad, it's just not, um, not, not what I prefer. Because, let's be honest, I don't tend to be good at racing games. So I need, I need to, oh god, that was bumpy. I need to have some way of, of catching up and having a shot um, at doing something, you know. So that's my two cents. I have a lot of two cents. I have more than two cents, in fact. Um, every single game, I seem to have something to say. Oh, I thought that was autopilot. I took my hand off the controls. It, it doesn't help that the power-ups are these sort of uh, ambiguous, like, Japanese symbols. Oh man, I am doing poorly on this one. I'm 11th and 12th. I'm battling for 10th place against this guy. Oh, sucks for you. I know that a lot of times in these games, the computer totally cheats. What do you guys think of that? So computer AI, it's hard to get it to play the same way that humans play. So oftentimes the computers are given capacities to do things that no human ever could in order to cheat so that it can, you know, compete with humans. Um, but sometimes the developers kind of go overboard and give the computers way too much ability to cheat. Um, and yeah, that's what I wanted. And I'll just rocket that guy as I fly past him. I really didn't need to do that, but... Hey, when you're in 8th place, you play dirty, man. I wonder if they'll actually... So, power-ups in racing games are kind of common now in racing games. Um, I don't know if Mario Kart invented it. I know there was an old PC game called Wacky Wheels, which is basically Mario Kart. And I can't remember which came out first. Mario Kart might have ripped off Wacky Wheels, actually. 
But anyway, whatever. Um, I don't know who first invented the idea of power-ups in racing games, but they definitely have become more and more common. So now there's kind of two classes of racing games. There's the like pure racing games, which if you're a real racing fan in real life, like you like NASCAR and stuff like that, you probably really prefer those racing games. Or maybe not, I don't know. But then there's uh, these ones, which are more like battle games where you just happen to be racing. You know? But um, the racing is just a, a, a kind of guise in order to get you there, give you a chance to battle with each other. Oh uh, god. Yes! Did I hit him or something? Something got him. Oh man, they were not they were not kidding about this track being tricky. Extended time. Whoa! <laughs> Do you think that in real life they'll ever actually have a form of racing where you can like use power-ups and stuff? Maybe in the distant, distant future. I can't see them doing anything like that anytime soon. That's way too dangerous. Could you imagine, like, NASCAR, where cars are, like, firing rockets and stuff at each other? Even if it was, like, not real rockets and it was just, like, you know, non-lethal things. I mean, that's just too dangerous to be messing around with in, in real racing. I'm, I'm placing a solid 8 on that one. Um, that was the best I deserved and the best I could do. So, we've gone from first and second to... We're not even placing. That's okay, though. We're going we're gonna to keep trying these, okay. Um, I was not a fan of that track. It had too many sort of droppy parts. Newly constructed German commercial park. So each one of these only has two. Okay, well, we're going to witness a very rapid fall in my ability to place in these things. Um... Okay, but the, the music in this game is awesome, and actually, let's go in. I want to find a specific track. Anti-Bomb Industrial. Ooh, Dust Up Beats. I know that one. Firestarter? This is Prodigy, man. <laughs> a track called Canada. Okay, we're going to have to listen to that one at some point. Okay, I think Dust Up Beats is the one that I was thinking of. No, oh, there's another one. Uh, okay, well, we're going to do Dust Up Beats for now. Um, oh. So, this was one of the games... One of the first games where I remember going out and, like, finding these songs on... Uh, Oh man, I think I found him back in the day on Napster. You guys remember Napster? Maybe Napster is before your time. It was how we downloaded music way back in the day when the concept of sharing music online was brand new. And the music companies were scared out of their minds. They had no idea what to do. They just started suing everyone. Um, <laughs> those were the days. The internet is so lawless. It just does stuff. It's like, you know what? Music is free now. Here you go. And it's like, what? We just spent decades, hundreds of years establishing business models here, and now all of a sudden it's changed. And it's like, yep, it's different now. Good luck with all that. Um, but yeah, I remember downloading uh, downloading these soundtracks. Well, this is also a windy one. Look at all these tunnels and stuff. I gotta say, I'm sad that the rest of the world seems more green and happy, and there's like an audience and stuff than Canada. The Canada... <laughs> The Canada arena that they have for this game is so depressing. Look how happy this one is. The sky is like blood red for some reason. But look, there's there's people. There's civilization here. People are watching, enjoying themselves. No one in Canada wanted to like leave their house the night that we came into town to race. Um, anyway, yeah, I I, uh, I really like these this music. And I played this game so much that I got used to these tracks, and then I wanted to listen to them just in my own spare time. So. Oh, I have many a memory waiting for a bus uh, to go to my part-time jo job at the mall, listening to some Wipeout tracks on a CD that I burned. Uh, do you remember burning CDs? So many, so many good memories. I had a job when I was in high school for a bit, working as a stock boy in my friend's uh, parents' uh, kind of store in the mall. Um, and it was really cool to work in a mall, actually. I gotta say, that was the only job I ever had where I worked in a mall. 
And that part was cool, but other than that, you know, having to work extra shifts, because I had another part-time job too, I think I was a dishwasher or something at the time, but having to work extra shifts at Christmas time, it's not the funnest thing, but um, but working in a mall is kind of cool. Oh man, what what is going on? The game can't keep up. Too much is happening. Oh, I couldn't fire that missile while my shields were up. Oh man, can you die already? Let me get six. Get out of the way, you <laughs> jerk. Oh man. Ugh. You just hear like when it says missiles, that people are firing at me. Because if so, I mean, that's problematic. That that that's nothing good for me. Okay, is that, and is that something that I can do? Uh, I'm seventh, aren't I? Oh, extended time. Is it possible to run out of time? Ooh, I got a shield. Whoa, 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 whoa. It protected me from nothing, but it was nice. I felt I felt more secure just having it. Yes! Oh, are you kidding me? I hit him with a rocket too right at the end. Didn't do anything. I feel like in Mario Kart, when you do hit people with um with the power up, it definitely like knocks them out of commission a little more than we got here. Seven. I'm actually moving up in the world, so that's not bad. What do we got? Okay, we've done Vector. We've done Venom. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like our skills have improved. It's time to quit messing around and go to the expert tracks. Um, French Metro System. Um, yeah, actually, so this video is right after all that horrible stuff happened in France. And, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to talk too much about that, obviously, because this is not the venue to make uh, comments. But, I mean... You know, it, your heart has to go out to, to people in, in those types of situations where these horrible things are happening. I mean, like, I mean, I don't know what there is to say. I don't want to dwell on it and drag this whole video down. But um, but uh, this one's for France. Um, we're with you. We're with you, buddies. Um, okay, let's let's try and find a good track there. Tin there. Okay, we got Fire Track, Firestarter, Canada. Those we have to listen to both of those. Oh, I thought there was another track in here. I can't find it. That's so sad. Okay, let's go with uh, Firestarter because there's a good chance you may know that song. Um, does this game remind you guys of F Zero? This sort of I think when it came out was whoa. I'm having a hard time even noticing where the road is on this one. But uh, this is sort of like F-Zero meets Mario Kart. And whoa! In a way, this is sort of like Sony's uh, answer to uh, mock to, to those racing games. Hey, look, a, a train. Yeah, I just... <laughs> if all my power-ups could be autopilots, I would really enjoy it. Oh, God, it's happening. I'm moving so fast, I can't even here properly. This, you know what else this reminds me of? Is it the pod racing stuff in the Star Wars. Um, I've said before I'm not a huge fan of the prequel Star Wars. Um, and I'm not. But, whoa! They're never going to put that in real racing. Oh god. They trick you with the little loop there. Uh, or making it look like there's a tunnel, but it's not. Um, yeah. I, uh, not a fan of pot of uh, the prequel Star Wars, but the pod racing scenes are kind of interesting. And they definitely had some interesting racing games. Oh, man. I'm finding that I'm sucking in this because I can't even tell where the road is. By the time I figure it out, I'm dead. Oh, my God. Is there, like, a, um, you know, a slow-down version of this for, for us to play? Um... Oh god. Where's the baby version of Wipeout 2097? That's what I need. The baby version. My, my reaction times just aren't that fast. I think, I mean, definitely in these racing games, I know from experience, you have to, to get good at a racing game, you have to really learn 
uh, the tracks quite a bit. Oh, I... What happened? What? I blew up! I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, okay, we gotta replay that. And you know what? Firestarter was failing us. Time to go to Canada. Canada will give us the strength to win. One. I don't even know what this song is. Canada by Cold Storage. Here we go, here we go. Enough messing around, it was time to hate. It's time to school these punks in the ways of Canada. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, the ways of Canada are failing me. The ways of Canada did never... Oh, I thought that was the road. Anyway... Oh, man. Believe it or not, there are some racing games out there that I'm... Oh, man. This is hard to watch. Oh, God. There are some racing games out there that I'm pretty good at. Um, Fatal Racing. Also known as Whiplash, which I am real. I keep talking about it. I'm really excited to play it at some point. Um, oh, and... Um, Burnout 3. Oh man, Burnout 3 and Burnout Revenge, I love those games. I played those games until I had unlocked like everything in every game. And I'm just dead, aren't I? <laughs> so, is every car just equipped with a, some kind of bomb? Where like if, you know, if you're not racing well enough, they're like, yeah, just, you know what, just, just totally destroy that guy. Bad luck. Okay. Um, well, it's okay. We're gonna try Care O Europa. So this one's in Odessa. That's Greece, right? Let's give it a try. <clears throat> the Black Sea. Rapia. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, I burned music from this game onto CDs. Did you guys... Um, was, were there any games when you were growing up where, like, the musical soundtrack you just liked so much that uh, you went ahead and like, you know, bought the CDs or found on Napster or whatever, whatever you did. You know, put the songs on your iPads, or your iPods, on your iPads. But anyway, are there any video games growing up where, you, where the soundtrack you just really love to the point where you kind of listen to it outside the game? And are there any uh, games still like that? Um, I know like, you know, I uh, have listened to Halo and uh, StarCraft and some other game soundtracks outside of the games. Um, a really good soundtrack, you know, I don't know, I maybe it's just me, maybe I'm crazy, but I like listening to these things. Ah, but that was autopilot. I really need to just learn the symbol for autopilot, because again, that's all I need. Oh god. That sounds like a tractor beam from Star Trek. Do you guys hear that when I go through that? It, it's sort of like the uh, tractor emitters. Mr. Data, lock on. Put it in the shuttle bay. That's what Picard always said. Put it in the shuttle bay. No, actually, he said engage. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, man. Again, if you saw someone racing around like this in an actual racing thing, you know, you would think they were drunk or had brain damage, like they're just ricocheting off walls all over this place. Um, oh man. I wonder if this sport would take off. If we did have anti-grav racing, you figure at least the novelty of it would, would mean something. People would like it. Um, so my strategy so far has been to go fast at the start, fast at the middle, and end fast. And it's not really working out. I'm kind of bouncing off more walls than I am uh, you know, racing elegantly. It's giving me lots of autopilots. Thank you, game. It knows. It's like, ugh, just give him the stinking autopilots. Let him get somewhere. Okay, we're gonna go through this tractor beam thing if we can find it with him. That is totally a power-up. I just did that. So, in addition to, like, firing rockets and having autopilots and stuff, some of the power-ups literally let you bend time and space so that you can, um... Yes, autopilot. 
Did you hear that? That was totally attractive to me. So some power-ups are letting me bend time and space so I can literally warp the roads in front of me. I mean, that that's quite something. That's perhaps more impressive than this whole anti-gravity thing. I mean, I'm impressed in this future if they have anti-gravity, but, uh... You know, being able to warp the very fabric of time and space, that's... That's, that's up there, too! Ugh. Where are my autopilots? No. Stop telling me I'm running out of time. Potemkin. That was also a ship in, in Star Trek. The Potemkin. I forget what it did. I have all this, like, random Star Trek trivia in the back of my head. Um, if I haven't said it already, I am definitely looking forward to the new Star Trek series. Although I have concerns that because it's only going to be available on CBS's, uh, like, online viewing subscription service, that the show may not do very well. Oh, no! Wow. That was at the wire, guys. I had a fraction of a second left there. No medal awarded. Yeah, but I didn't blow up. That is a medal in and of itself. Not dying. Can I have that? You know, somebody else has first, somebody has second, someone has third. I get a medal that says, you didn't die. That's the only reward I need in, uh, in a racing game here. And I think we've, we've played the whole game. We didn't necessarily do good at the whole game, but we played it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Maybe I played the sequel to Wipeout, because I remember a couple different songs, and I remember definitely more tracks, so um, this is perplexing. Um, okay, we're going to do one more thing. Um, I'm going to sign off while I do this, but we're going to go for the expert car. Um, and we're going to... Let's go back to Canada. Let's go back home. <coughs> Started in Canada. Oops. Let's end in Canada, baby. See if I can place in an expert car. Um, and what are these? Arcade time. No, the right at the other modes are just multiplayer. There's no like tournament, which is weird. All right, Red Bull, do me up. <clears throat> so, wipe out. One. What can we say about this game? Well, the pros are that it is a pretty... Oh, God, this thing steers like a dinosaur. Oh, man, it's so hard. Although, maybe that's a good thing. Steering too much for me, I usually end up in the walls. Um, but this game... So the pros are it's a really good racing game. Um, I'm not the best at it, but I'm not the worst. I definitely... I got first in at least one race. And looks like history is gonna repeat itself. Cause I'm on fire. I just need to race in Canada. That's it. I just I, I get homesick when I'm away. I'm in Europe. I'm, all, I'm nothing but a bag of nerves. I just want to come back to Canada and race, man. That's, that's what I want to do. Oh, I don't want to take missiles to the butt though. Um, the cons with this game. So the pros are it's a fun racing game. It's, it has really fun power ups and stuff. Um, one of the cons are I can never tell what the hell power-up I've got. I don't know those icons well enough, and they're not very obvious, so that's one con. Um, another con I would say is that there's really no, like, tournament mode, and there is, there are only a few, um, a few power-ups. Or not a few power-ups, a few tracks. It would be nice to have more variety. Um, of stuff and to have an actual tournament where you can try and go through all of them one at a time. Now I realized that there were technical limitations at the time and having this many completely 3D tracks in the game is quite a bit so I can forgive the track thing but there's no reason there shouldn't have been a tournament option. So I kind of hold the tournament thing against them for a bit. But nonetheless, oh! First place with an expert car! Okay we're gonna try one more then we're gonna go on uh go on the, the sort of hardest track that we had then, because clearly, clearly it was all about the car. <clears throat> all right, let's go uh, back to the Metro system here. Um, the cons, so yeah, the cons for this game are no tournament, um, but otherwise, you know, it, it's hard to come up with too many bad things to say about this game. The music is great, the sort of controls are good if you can get good at them. You could race really well. And it does have a lot of uh, multiplayer features. Oh, history is repeating itself here. It was not the car. Turns out it was me. I was the X Factor that sucked on this particular track. 
Um, so should you play this game before you die? That I have, you know, definitely yes. Definitely yes, that's, that's what I was trying to say there. Um, give it a try. You shan't be disappointed with Wipeout. The first one was on PSP, uh, the very original one. So if you do have that, you might want to look that up too. I haven't played it, and at some point I have to get into some, some more handheld games. So I'm gonna have to see what I can do about that, but maybe, maybe I'll give the original Wipeout a try. I do want to find the sequel Wipeout that I must have played that had uh, more of the music that I remember, but anyway, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Whoa! I, that was a really far jump that, ah, oh, that stupid tunnel always makes me think I'm supposed to go forward there, but the road is totally curving. I hate that. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a like, give me a subscribe, because I will definitely be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. And, uh, yeah, I'm thinking of trying a GameCube game next, actually. Um, I, had a, I have a lot of fond memories of Luigi's Mansion, I think. So that, that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know. I mean, we shall see what game it ends up being. But uh, if that one's not next, it's probably coming soon. Um, I have so many great games uh, on my list to play. Um, so I guess one thing I haven't said in a while is that this whole series, this Let's Play 1001 Games, it is based off the book, 1001 Games You Must Play Before You Die. So really, I'm not playing any game that isn't necessarily in that book. Uh, when I do play a game that's off the book, I put in my companion series called, you know, Off the Book. Um, so yeah, a couple people have made some recommendations to me, which is terrific, you know, if you have other recommendations of games I need to try, or games you'd love to see me play, please, uh, leave them below in the comments. Um, but, you know, for the main series, if you make a re recommendation for a game that's beloved to you but not in the book, I won't be playing it for this series, but I will probably take note of it, and at some point, one day, it may show up in the Off the Book series. As I said, I have a huge backlog of games, um, that I have to get through there. Uh, so, I mean, I have years of games to play ahead of me, and, uh, for those of you who also don't know, this Let's Play 1001 game series, we do about two games a week, which by my calculations is about 100 games a year, um, if I can keep it up, and that means it's going to take me 10 years to play 1001 games. 10 years! Oh, God. Uh, good thing I love games, eh? Ah, and I blow it up. Well, it's okay. I was never going to, I was never going to do this, never going to beat this, this track. Bad luck, buddy. Yeah, it's, it was real unlucky my car was rigged with a bomb and you guys decided to kill me. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. And until next time, uh, take care of yourselves. And uh, peace.